Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to eSports here. Welcome back to the Winter Major, um, the last tournament of the year. And today we will be seeing the game Butchers versus White Towers. And I'm not alone tonight. Uh, I'm joined here by Avoid. And this game is broadcasted by Cathy. Thank you very much, everyone here, for, for being here. And um, Avoid, how are you doing? Uh, I'm not too bad on the sea. Everything's going well. How are you? Yeah, very good as well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Um, we have two pretty good teams here for us. Bushes versus White. That was, I think those, are, those teams are very close to, um, in terms of skill level. Let's quickly introduce them. Uh, we are seeing Butchers on the blue side. They are playing with J.I.K., Vesely, uh, Arlington and Champion. And Spade, of course. And on the White House side, we have Morgana, Evo, Matt Villain, Sanguine and Cortex. So currently it's still 0-0, zero, zero. both teams are taking it calmly. Yeah, most definitely. It seems like... Not start to be honest for both teams, just going for damage. Yeah, yeah, but oh, Debok is dropping though here, Morgana with a good position to take it. And JRK returning that flag, Matt Villain could not reach it on time. So yeah, second round already here in the challenge stage. Um, so far, I have not seen any surprises in the score, but it's always the most interesting tournament of the season, of course. So. Well, the very first stage in it is the most entertaining one. No, I couldn't say it's the entertaining. It's just the lower tier teams playing. Or maybe there might be good teams with, without enough points. I don't know. Yeah, of course, of course. There's always... Uh, some some teams that started late, started only playing major three or something, and then you have to um you have to get some positions back. But still no no pool attempt. And we are three minutes in the game. I haven't seen a good attack to be honest. Uh in the few minutes we are watching this one. We have Sanguine with an OD in middle. And definitely can use uh, in the coming minutes. Matt Villain with the Hunter OD, Evo with the Paladin OD. This is looking pretty good for White Towers. They have to create something here. Um, another OD box dropping in mid. Same with not enough HP to do a use and take. So it's looks like this will be. Um, Okay, Morgana with the opportunity here, but Spade with a lovely cruise OD. It's OD box still a mid champion here with a good opportunity to do a use and take. Matt Villain with a very good hunter OD. Um, and choosing to save that OD for Sanguine, it's a bit risky, but it works out for them. But a little fight on the OD box, but with all that focusing on that overdrive box, there was not a really an opportunity to actually pull the flag. So we still have to see uh, an attack to happen. Yeah, Samwin does have a fairly um, good opportunity to use that Eris OD if he feels um, necessary. Three on the right side as well, they're going to be playing a bit more aggressive here where they might be able to get that position on the right side and stage a good attack. Yeah, we have a hair that looks pretty promising, but uh, Eris OD is colliding. Um, still looking pretty good here for if JIK can continue that flag pull, but Sanguine. Good movements, returning the flag, phase two of the attack. The JRG getting knocked out. It's uh, a pretty good attack there from, from Butchers, I have to say, but well defended. Yeah, fingers crossed that they can keep up the good work um, and just try and get into that attack phase there. We can see Vasily there with Viking. Viking overture. 
Yeah, another OD box dropping as well. Vesely with a good opportunity to use that Viking OD for a use and take. He's taking he's taking that risk, but pretty late, and he couldn't uh, use that OD anymore. Um, so yeah, it's a use and take, but in the one of the least effective ways I have ever seen a use and take. Um, and we are already halfway in this game. Five minutes has been passed. Four minutes still on the clock, and still no good attack. To be honest. Yeah, I mean, four minutes just like that, they should be able to at least penetrate the enemy's base and actually make a stage attack here. We can see Sangwing there on middle getting dealt a lot of damage there. Both teams just chipping away at one another. Um, it would be nice to see one strong attack, at least from one team here, if that can be possible. Yeah, indeed, indeed. You know, sometimes a tie can be entertaining because both teams are just attacking and defending very well, but this tie is just because of a lack of defense, I feel like. A lack of attack, I have to say, of course. Yeah. We saw one good attack from Butchers, but they uh, got very good defending action by, uh, by, by White Towers, but White Towers, I have not seen a big attack by them, to be honest. Yeah, I haven't seen either um, a good attack, a good attack from White Towers. I guess it's just they're a bit more nervous, or maybe they're just lacking the experience. Who knows? The OD's dropping now, but Silly could go for a use and take, and it seems like he's gonna do that. Yeah, better shot at a use and take than last time. Pretty effective here. Um, he still has repair kit. Uh, a lot of players now respawning here from White Towers. I don't see them pulling a flag here with this attack. Yeah, the, with only 2 minutes 40 seconds remaining here, it is really a time pressure game. Which team will be the one that will be more dominant? Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, Yeah, let's see. Champion will got his, get his OD uh, very soon. That can be useful here, especially from the blue side, for an opportunity to pull that flag. And I want to see a capture man in the last two minutes here. There has to be... Uh, it will be a very boring tie if this round will be a tie, you know? E this is the attack, though, from White Tower where we all have been waiting for. We see Evo with a good OD, Morgana with an effective Hunter OD, but Spade... It will miss Evo. This is real opportunity here right now. Vesley going in with that Hunter, uh, Thunder, uh, Hunter, Thunder, Viking OD, of course. Ooh, Sanguine, that's a, uh, yeah, what do you call it? Avoid as Ares player. Um, Ares OD, BFG cannon. Yeah. <laughs> it's one oh, of the most you, effective OD. Oh, the, oh, you wanted me to say it was a bad OD. Well, he did try to break down the wall, so, you know, it happens. Champion here taking that OD box. It was already nearly fully charged, so it's not the most effective catch of an OD box. Still, in the last minute, it can be a very useful one, though. Especially because the game is still 0-0. We have seen a another attack here by White Towers. Evo now pulling through mid. Without uh, repair right now, but he's already pretty far at the base. Champion feels the need to use for defense. So that means that this game will become a 0-0. At least. Maybe Bushes can do something here. JRK missing the flag. Don't know what he was doing. He was just pulling, but without the flag. Yeah, I think he was just in his own dream world. Yeah, it was a real opportunity if he didn't miss that one. But now it's pretty much a tie guaranteed. 20 seconds on the clock and we will get to round two here. Seems like it's going to be a slow day today. Yeah, it's, slow it, day. It, it's a slow game. But what you said about risk is definitely a good point. Um, the team lost the first round, both of the teams. And af if you lose three rounds, it's just over. And everyone wants to, to get to that legend stage. So it's, yeah. it's understandable, but it's a, a very boring first round, I have to say that. 
<laughs> yeah, it takes up quite a long time for it to wrap up quickly, you know. And I guess that's pretty much the disadvantage of it overall. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we will get to round two here right now. And um let's see. Oh, about boring boring rounds. Um you know what the second map will be? Island? <laughs> yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. You know, I don't understand these these players, you know. Like you, there's so many other maps you can choose. And they yeah. choose to pick Highland. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the definition of a slow game. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, we're gonna see a lot of what's it pro potentially we might see a lot of extra rounds just because of this, you know. Yeah, the, it's a real possibility indeed. Oh, D-Box is dropping here. Sanguine with a good position. Um, he's totally in mid and on control. I thought Arlington would catch it, but it's still Sanguine. You know that Hunter can be a bit strange with, with, with hitboxes. It's just insanely big. But Sanguine managing to catch that OD-Box. An important one, especially because they are on the blue side right now. Yeah. See that overdrive should be a good advantage for them. So we've got to see how they're going to use that Eris overdrive. Hopefully he doesn't use a <laughs> I'm trying to think of a bad Eris player, but I can't necessarily you know Sangwin isn't a bad Eris player. He's actually a fairly good Eris player to be honest. Yeah, hopefully he will show it in this round because last round, to be honest, both of the Eris players, both all of the Eris OD, I can't remember anyone. Uh, any OD that was good, to be honest, like, uh... Hang on, that's not very nice. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I'm not very nice. Um, it just wasn't good. You know, I, I don't know how to say differently. Yeah, I agree with you. There was a lot of spilled ODs from them. But, yeah, you're definitely right. We have some, seen some good OD by Sanguine in the past. Uh, and both teams, they are definitely not on top, but they are definitely not below as well. You know, it, they are definitely some some good midfield teams so i expect a lot more from them and uh yeah. let's hope we will see that in this round second out b box already dropping sanguine here with the first od uh evo not being able to connect that od um but yeah it's on debate from which uh which fault it was which player but that was definitely yeah uh, not a good attack as well Yeah, not the best, but hopefully still got an opportunity to turn it around here. Nice OD for Mad Villain, really the Mad Villain there, stepping in and stunning out those two or one or two opponents, I believe, which happened there. Cortez on the getting a good position here, but he's going to get a lot of splash from Champion, so that guy needs to be taken out very quickly, which he does get taken out. Spate loses his position, Sangwing, and Cortez has the advantage to step forward here, but however, they've been... Uh, uh, might be accountable here, as you can see, JLK, Arlington, and Vasily have lots of control of the opponent's base here. Yeah, there's definitely an opportunity here. Matt Villain now uh, with a good spawn, and that hammer, we don't see that often on the turret, but it deals a good amount of damage. Uh, on the other side, we saw a counter-attack as well. A Sanguine is able to continue that one, but it really looks like it will be a return by JIK, and there we have it. Um, but yeah, Matt Villain, Hunter... Uh, Hunter uh, Hammer, what do you think about that? It's a bit of a waffle combo, but um, it's not amazing, but it's, it's a bit awkward. You know when something's not normal, it's just like you can't really say much about it. What do you think? Yeah, you know the damage per second from Hammer is good, so in the most fights, it will not be a disadvantage from from uh, uh, striker. But when you are going to talk about range, it's a really big disadvantage. You know, we saw uh, striker being replaced by Gauss. If you are not feeling comfortable with striker, uh, yeah. and Gauss has a good range as well, but Hammer just lacks range. So I think maybe on this map is only not be the biggest problem, but definitely on on bigger maps it will be a real disadvantage. 
Yeah, I think so too. We've got to see what's going to happen, to be honest. Um, Mad Villain having a little bit of trouble there with that range. As you mentioned, he can't necessarily reach those opponents, but he can have to push in and get that damage off, which is very, very disadvantaged for his teammates. So this might be an advantage for the opposing team where they might be able to get a good attacks as that um, distant range from Mad Villain's hammer, to be honest. Yeah, you have to also uh, take that in consideration when you're playing against Matt Villain here. Keep the distance uh, big. Uh, it's just an easy opponent. You always have to keep the distance a bit big uh, when you're facing a Hunter player, of course. But especially if it's also a medium range turret. Uh, we saw a pretty good attack here by White Towers, but not able to break through the defense here of Butches. Cortex with a nice Crusoe D a few seconds ago. Um, Talking about ODs, another OD boss dropping as well. Morgana, this is a risky use and take. But it's worth a shot and it's working out as well. This is a big advantage here currently um, for White Towers. Fingers crossed they can pull it off though. Two good ODs there from, from uh, Butchers, I have to say. Champion with a nice cruise ID for defense. Or Paladin OD, uh, Aeros OD, I should say. And a nice Cruise OD from uh, the Cruise player as well there. Spade, of course. You know, uh, White uh, Butchers, they are not playing aggressive. Uh, they are playing pretty, pretty defending. But the defense is good as well, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, their defense is good, but it would be nicer if they could play a bit more aggressive. Um, yeah. They do have that advantage of the combos. Um, they are playing a little bit more better combos, and I don't see their hunter playing hammer and they're playing striker as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I agree with you on there. Um, but they are playing red side this time, and blue side is better for uh, attacking. I have to say, with only five minutes on the clock right now. It's important to get a capture. And it's, it's really important to win this round. If you win this round, uh, chances are big you win the whole game because the next two rounds will be Paladin. Uh, pa uh, will be Highland. Oh, yeah. The round will be in their favor. And we can see Cortez pulling her. Not much resistance ever there. Can take over the flag, which he can do so here. Can he get into the his base? He's having a little bit of trouble. Morgana is... Oh, okay, facing an issue with taking that box, Spade there, returning the flag. It just wasn't connected enough here for uh, for White Towers. And another return by Butchers. I'm pretty scared for another 0-0, zero zero, I have to say, uh, Avoid. It looks like it will be a tie again. Yeah, but isn't it maximum or um, well, minimum they should be able to play um, four rounds, right? Yeah, four rounds is uh, minimum. Okay, okay. So, I mean, if there's a draw until four, like, let's say the third round, it's like a, still going to be another draw. And whoever wins the fourth round um, gets the win for the day. Yeah, but it'll still be on Highland. So I, I expect to just see like five or six ties in Highland in a row. <laughs> oh, my. At that point, you know, I should have packed my uh, dinner, to be honest, because these guys are absolutely taking the joke. Yeah, yeah. our broadcaster that will stream the next game um, will definitely be earlier finished than we are. <laughs> oh, wow, most definitely. Oh my gosh, well, well I can say lucky him to be honest, because yeah, to it, be honest... We, we didn't reach that point yet, maybe we'll, someone will capture on island, but uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Bro, I swear, if we're here for the whole night... Oh my gosh, I'm coming for these players. I want to have a word <laughs> every single one of them. I even will translate it in Russian just for what I got to say to them. <laughs> okay, okay. This sounds like a pretty aggressive. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know, just positive feedback, you know. That's what I got to say. That's what you call uh, treat. Uh, I don't know the English word for that. Threatening people. You call it uh, feedback. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> good to know. Feedback. Oh, oh, constructive, con constructive criticism. Ah, okay, yeah. nice, nice. 
You should apply to a political function uh, with this uh, way of uh, talking you around yourself. <laughs> yeah, so all the time you just have to um, change up the word, but we can see Vasily stepping in with his bike in overdrive. Um, not much damage being dealt to Morgana. Sandwich going for splash damage as well. Sandwich gets taken out. Can Mad Villain take out the opponent? And Vasily does get taken out very quickly there. Okay, OD box once again dropping. We are down to the last 1.5 minutes here. JRK putting that flag, but Matt Villain with a good hunter OD, forcing the return there. Evo now currently returning that one. Cortex though pulling this flag. This is a real opportunity here for uh, um, White Towers. Not only opportunity to capture the flag, but also an opportunity to win the whole game here. Uh, Sanguine has to take over, but that that Aris is just very slow. Sanguine should just use left. Yep, nice. This is a good OD from Sangwin. Evo nice. just not caring about the champion there and nice, nice, nice capture to be honest. Yeah. Hey, this guy was like, I, he was like, I don't even care if I'm on one HP, I'm capturing before they all pressure <laughs> it. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, and he just got pretty lucky, you know, because one second later and he would have died. One yeah. second later. Yeah, you know, now we are praising him for it, but if he was like one second later, we would call him stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But they will still finish that capture, you know, it was already back in the base. It They will connect it with a different player. It will be definitely be a capture, uh, even if if he got knocked out by that Aris OD. And I guess that's it. I guess you're pretty much more happier now. You've seen that at least one team wander around. Yeah, it just looks better here for uh, for the rest of the game here. Um, yeah, your favorite map. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it there. <laughs> but you oh know, my. I re I remember a game. I don't know which opponent Butcher was facing, but where Butchers played pretty good. Was it Butchers? I'm pretty sure it was Butchers that, that played pretty good on, on Highlands. But maybe they can even turn it around, you know? I'm oh my day, don't I, say that now, come on. I'm searching for the game. I think it was against Drama, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Uh, doesn't matter, you know, past tournament. Yeah, I mean, that would be the last thing we want to see, you know? Uh, are we going to be here all night and the viewers are going to be like, yeah, long day. Long day, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the fun about about Tanky Esports, and definitely the fun about uh, closed games, even if the closed games are uh, at the lower side of the tournament currently. You know, it's just unpredictable. Um, yeah, and that unpre unpredictable makes it a bit more interest interesting sometimes. But, mm -hmm. you know, but if both teams are camping and they're not pulling flags, then, you know, you just have to... Just ease into the match and just sit back and relax, to be honest. Yeah. They need four rounds to claim the drop, you know? Yeah. Island, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we are going to see that map right now. I don't seem like much of the viewers are electrified right now to see the matches that will be happening in Highland. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, uh, Highland, you know, when I just joined commentating, I really thought that it was one of my favorite maps. Yeah. 
Wait, you thought Highland was your favorite? Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. But, nah, come on now. Yeah, but it's not it's not that case anymore. But the first time I saw Highland in the eSport when we were commentating, I was like really hyped. It, because in matchmaking, I love the map Highland. So I thought it would be good in eSports as well. But I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. You know, I gotta be careful what I gotta say, you know. What? <laughs> I gotta be careful and then he said something I should have said. About my opinion or about uh no, opinions about, about me? About I can say everything. I I hope. <laughs> no, 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 but yeah, what I would say is you're right, it is interesting, you know, because <laughs> in matchmaking they don't put this map much on the on the probability list that you'll get it next mm-hmm. round. Like, I always see the bigger maps, and, you know, I like these type of maps, like this map and sandbots, and you rarely see those matches being um, yep. viewed in matchmaking. Yeah, true. But the fun thing about the smaller maps in matchmaking indeed is that you can uh, personally m- make the difference, and the bigger the map, the harder that is. That's, yes. that's, that's why we like it, I think. I think so too. But yeah, I really would like to see those maps more times in measurement. But it's, it's logical. Like, if every map had the same rate of, of uh, uh, putting up in, ma- in matchmaking, the bigger maps are the maps you will play more because there are more players in that map. Ah, uh, that is true. That's true. But the big maps, you know, sometimes you just got, the, you got those campers that are literally camping all day behind a wall with a shaft and you know and then you got those literal guys that have nothing else to do with their what's it called Time. scorpio and oh. literally just <laughs> looking onto you every time you leave your base i'm yeah. just like all right big man big man stay right there behind the wall in it yeah and i'm just like all right i'm coming with my bfg cannon i'll use enough nuclear to to, <laughs> to make you leave the match to leave the round <laughs> And once, once I'm satisfied that I use enough nucleus, I'll, you know, yeah, that's that's just how I am, to be honest. You, you sound like the person that will uh, play Magnum just to knock out the opposite scampers. Uh, uh, I wish I could. If I could play it, then I would, but I just keep playing Ares Wonder, you know. <laughs> um, the whole nuclear arsenal of uh, nuclear uh, supplies just for one camper. <laughs> For real. I mean, that's the perks of being a, a, a helper, you know, you just you just get those uh, I can't really disclose it, but you know you get those certain things. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. You're, you, you're talking about uh, uh, misusing your your power. I, I, I know, I know. No, <laughs> joking, joking. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Let's I, I, I always forgot to, you, to use them, you know. I, I have like 300 of them. Oh wow! Yeah, but, you know, after a play, I think yeah, I should have used nuclear supply there, but yeah, then it's already too late. Yeah, it's too late, too late. But the thing is, everyone says just keep them, don't waste them. But I don't know. Why should you keep them? I like, think they're doing stuff like for events or missions. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay, okay, but you, you should keep like ten or something so you can do a mission quickly. But more than that. You know, back in the day where supplies were uh, not easy to obtain, people always said, yeah, you should keep them. You should keep them for when a gold box drop. But if you keep 10 of them, it's enough. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. But you have 300, so you have plenty. Yeah. Which, sadly, they are not able to get shared. Otherwise, wow. I, w- I would have given you something. That's true, that's true. Oh, look at that, Morgana pulling the flag actually there. Sorry, I was not focusing at the game a lot because it was Highland, but it it actually looked like we had a pull there. Okay, we should stop bashing Highland. Oh. It's, uh, no. <laughs> uh, don't worry, guys, we're going to get into the game for you guys and we're going yeah. to um, fully focus just for you guys. Um, and for the love of this map. Oh yeah, for the love of this map. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Matt Villain here, in a difficult spot here. 
trying to force something. You white sun with a good uh, opportunity to use an OD here in the coming minutes. Morgana in an opportunity here to take this OD box. Or not. Um, you are saying risky use and take, but it's working out for them. And it's a beautiful OD by you white sun. Um, I have to say, just a very good OD. And of course, a use and take because he can immediately use again. This is looking oh, yeah. strong. He's just literally just wiping into his own base. Oh, should I say she? Because Morgana is a girl's name. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's named after the League of Legends champion. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know, man. But uh, a nice pool, definitely. A nice pool uh, on the island map. We don't see that very often. And uh, your white son with, with perfect timings on that OD. I can't say it differently. Wait, is this the guy that won the last round that just captured, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, you can calm down again. <laughs> honestly, uh, honestly, I was absolutely going to get fed up. But right now, um, to get you viewers entertained, you can see your white son playing a bit more aggressive here. Um, he might take that superior position up on the ramp here, and he has to damage spate. Spate does seem like the guy that's given the most nuisance here. He can damage JLK, or JIK, I should say, in other words. And he's got a good spot. Champion there with OD. If he ever feels threatened, he can use for defense and also for silly. Yeah, and talking about um, uh, White Towers being in the lead currently, um, if this will end this way, if they will end in the lead, the game is also uh, finished. Oh, okay. So, Butchers has to capture a flag if they want to continue here uh, to round four. Seems that we're in business then. Let's go. Yeah, Butchers is in a difficult position indeed. indeed uh, we have Fazili with an OD though. We have JRK with an OD. Arlington. Um, champion as well. So... It's looking good for them with uh, in consideration of ODs. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if you noticed, but Silly was lagging there for quite a while. Mm. That will be uh, another thing for, for Champion to watch out for indeed. That can be picked up here by the... Oh, I see him lagging once again. Yeah, we are seeing um, some issues with him there. He is trying to rejoin, but that's another difficult situation here for, for Butchers that already is um, fighting against the clock. Yeah, with only four minutes remaining, that is such a downside for Vasily, for Butchers, in other words. Champion there, along with Arlington and J.I.K., my villain on the top with his hammer. Hunter, he's going to step in and do some damage to Arlington there. Arlington's not going to be too much happy about that as he uses Hunter OD. I think he just did that because he was very upset that he was getting focused. He had oh some my. personal issues there being uh, <laughs> played out on the battlefield. We see Morgana using OD here. Evo taking that OD box. I hope that was communicated because it looked like a use and take attempt from Morgana there. Uh, we see Fesley once again leaving the match this is not looking good here especially because evil is in the base there with an od will he use he will save it i don't know for when i think he had a good opportunity here to share that od with morgana and create something lead sharing is caring um With only three minutes remaining, it's not looking good right now for Butchers. Right now, they really will have to butcher themselves after this match, just from looking what's happening here. With only two minutes, 50 seconds roughly remaining, your white son using a beautiful Eris OD into the enemy's base there, taking out JIK, the Paladin, and the Crusader. All opponents are on respawn here. So this might be a little bit of cough up as ever goes through mid, but nice OD from Cortex, making his own... Cortex or Vortex, whatever you want to call it. But wait, what happened? They returned? Oh, no, no, they just didn't take it. But what? now Mestillin is pulling. Yeah, I don't know why. Again, the Paladin was not picking up the flag. I thought uh, he picked the flag. Even I got confused. 
I think he, he got confused with himself as well, or it was just funny, I don't know. Um, but <laughs> it looks like it is a mistake, uh, and Cortex is here pulling, uh, capturing the second flag. So luckily for for, for Evo, he, uh, he has a team to back up, and he was already in the lead. Otherwise, it would have been uh, a bit questionable. Yeah. This guy was literally driving back, and I was thinking he has a flag while he's driving back like that. And the flag is still in the enemy's face. Oh, my days. Yeah, it's the second time as well. I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. Uh... But yeah, let's see. Yeah, I mean, with only one minute 30 seconds remaining right now, we can see um, your white son really being a nuisance there on the right side. JL, JIK going solo for an attempt to pull here. He needs some support from his teammates, which he is lacking right now at this current moment in time. Spate there in the open, just trying to lock onto that Ares. He does his job, takes out the Ares, but Evo, Morgana pushing Copper. Copper is in a little bit of trouble here. Can he get some support from his teammates? And maybe they can make an attempt to push it on the right side here. JIK, JIK using his Paladin Overdrive. But Mad Villain once more again being the, the main character here. Taking out the one opponent and stunning JIK just for a split second. Yeah, and it looks like this will be the finishing score, to be honest. Oh my. Oh <laughs> my. Bad villain kissing the floor, yeah? That relationship must be good. We can see Arlington and Copper not giving up at right now, but only 20 seconds left, and that does seem like it is game. Yep. That's it, a 2 0 score here for White Towers. That is their second win here in three rounds. And that means uh, we only have one round left. And it's not possible for Butchers to come back from uh, a two score uh, disadvantage, two point disadvantage. That means that White Towers has won this game. And they are now uh, have an overall score in this tournament of one zi with loss and one win. So they are. Uh, Playing a pretty decent tournament, and Bushes is in a difficult spot. They can uh, have another shot here in the third round, but they need to win that game to continue here and to have a chance to participate in the legend stage. Yeah, I don't know if you have anything to add. Um, no, that is it pretty much, to be honest. Yep, yep, yep. I want to thank you then for, uh, for tuning into this stream um, here in the second round of the Winter Major. Uh, we will be back uh, in, I think, around 15 minutes of time for Punch versus Deviants. Both of these teams have won the first game and are trying to win their second game here. Um, interesting game. We will be back with that game in, uh, in about 15 minutes on the Tanky Sport EN2 channel. Hope to see you there and have a good evening. I'm running back to you.